Tripods, tripods, and you guessed it, more tripods. You've got clip lock legs, you've got quarter turn quick release legs, and you've even got wooden ones as well too. In this ever expansive sea of tripods, we here at BNC Camera try to provide our best customer service when it comes to that $40 to $1,000 investment question, depending on the build quality of course, which is what tripod is best for you. And yeah, in this episode, I'll be discussing a little bit about the basics of tripods and some things to consider before pulling the trigger on a system that's gonna support your $500 to $1,000 plus dollar camera system. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. Alrighty, first up we've got build quality. We have the Peak Design Travel Tripod in the carbon fiber and the aluminum version. Now carbon fiber is gonna be a lot lighter, but not lighter on the wallet, just to give you guys a heads up. On the other hand, the aluminum version is gonna be a little bit heavier, but not as heavy on the wallet. These are some of the first things to consider when you're looking into buying a tripod. So next up, we're gonna be talking about the leg types. All right, so we have a Benro tripod and a Manfrotto tripod. First up, let's go ahead and talk about the clip lock leg systems, or as I like to put it, the clippy legs. <laughs> I like the Manfrotto ones in particular because it's aluminum and yeah, this is all a matter of preference as well too. So all you got to do is unclip it, very simple, straightforward and yeah, that's basically the clip legs for you. Now on the other hand, we have the quarter turn quick release legs or as I like to put them, the twisty legs. <laughs> all right. So these ones are fairly simple as well too. Again, it's all a matter of preference. We do quarter turn releases to release the legs. Just a little side note here for people that do not know, do not loosen these legs up all the way. If you do that, you're gonna release the shims that hold this mechanism in place and stuff's just gonna fly out. So definitely keep that in mind. Um, it is a common error for some beginners to do that. So just keep that in mind when you're unlocking the legs. Okay, lastly, let's go ahead and talk about head types. You have your ball head, your fluid video head, and your gear head as well too. There are some other types as well, but these are the main ones you'll typically see on most tripods. Alrighty, first up, let's go ahead and talk about ball heads. Ball heads are pretty standard and straightforward, and nine times out of 10, you'll see them typically with your tripod kit systems. There's a little release here to release the ball, and you can adjust it at whatever angle you want. So say for example, you're wanting to do a portrait, kind of just loosen this guy right here to put it down and you're all set. Some ball heads as well too have a control for your panning right here. Whenever the, tri whenever the ball head is on the tripod, you can lock it in place so it doesn't pan or you can unlock it to do some kind of video S stuff as well too or if you just need to rotate the tripod head around as well. So, okay, that's ball heads in a nutshell. Alrighty, next up, let's go ahead and talk about gear heads. Your gear heads are gonna be geared more towards your <laughs> ah, puns. Ah, uh, okay. Your gear heads are gonna be more geared towards product and landscape photography. Why do I say this? Well, because each system right here is super locked on and solid in place. So, say for example, you wanna do some long exposures of the night sky, and you don't wanna worry about your ball head drooping if the lens is too heavy or the body's too heavy. You can basically lock your camera in place at various angles and tightening it down with this system right here. So that's gonna be gear heads for you in a nutshell. Okay, let's go ahead and jump right along to fluid video head systems. The one that I'm using for videos is of course the S6 Pro from Benro. And as you can tell, video heads are really great for supporting a lot of weight. Another cool thing with video head systems is the handles that it comes with. And the handle is gonna be really useful for fluidity of movement. That's kind of the name of the game with fluid head systems. It's predominantly used for video. So if you're tracking subjects, you're gonna have nice steady movement depending on what you're doing, right? So that's one thing to consider as well too when you're looking at head systems. Tabletop tripods are great. They're super small and compact. You can go ahead and put your camera right here. And most tabletop tripods are a ball head system, so. And a little disclaimer for you guys. This right here is a monopod. Monopods are typically used to stabilize bigger lenses on a system. So, it's got a pretty decent base, but we get customers coming in all the time saying that they wanna just have a small compact system to put their camera on. 
Yes, you can do that, but be very, very mindful within regards to that because this system right here is again, just set to support a lens. Because if the wind blows it, boom, there goes your 500 to 2000, $10,000 system. Gone, just like that. So again, that's the disclaimer. Feel free to use your monopod as a tripod if you want, but I would strongly advise not to do that. So. And that's all there is to it. Hopefully with this video, we gave you guys a leg up in terms of what to look for the next time you guys are tripod shopping. Now, just remember that we do offer a huge selection of tripods here at the store to include manufacturers such as Manfrotto, Benro, 3D-Legged Thing, Gitso, Promaster, Joby, and Small Rig, just to name a few. So don't be shy. If you guys happen to have any of the questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section down below. And if you're here in Las Vegas, Nevada, feel free to swing by at the shop where you can talk to one of our many associates, me including, within regards to tripods or anything camera related. And yeah, if you guys found the video helpful and informative, please be sure to give us a like and subscribe as well too, as we'll be releasing more content in the near future. Of course, I am the one and only Raph from BNC Camera, and I'll catch you guys, I'm sure, in some other video. So, see ya.